In this video, I will create an inquiry report for our activity. Uh, purpose of this, this report will be uh, activi uh, activities that in that month I will summarize uh, uh, and uh, eventually I want to create a sales order from this uh, one month activities for one uh, customer. So there will be a month, year and customer filter for uh, this inquiry report. And uh, I will use a temporary table for uh, this report. It's not necessary and it's not maybe the best way to do it, but I want to show you how, uh, how you can use temporary reports in that kind of situation. So first of all, I will create a, a temporary table for this report. Let's start uh, quickly. Let's add new item. Table. It's best practice to write TMP for temp report, temp table. So let's create this one. Uh, this table uh, will be very similar to our uh, activity table. So let's copy the field. I need activity base. I don't need this one. Uh, not cost account. Cost duty, yes. Description, of course. Duration, employee. And maybe project ID. Yes. And investigation. These are enough for this. Okay. Also, I need a, um, a total amount field. Let's create another field. It's properties. Now it's almost ready uh, for uh, for temp. I, I need to select, of course, I need to give a, a label. And let's change table type. We have three different table types. Regular is it means it's a regular table stored in SQL. In memory means it's a temporary table stored in memory. Temp DB is also a temporary table but stored in uh, SQL. Uh, for our example, there will be no uh, much record, so it will be a small table, so we can use in-memory table for this one. But generally, I prefer to use TempDB most of the time. And other than that, we don't need anything else. Let's save and, of course, synchronize this uh, project. Okay, now let's create uh, our form. This form also uh, very similar to our activity table, will be very similar. Uh, let's first add our data source and copy from our original table form. 
we need this one uh, and also action frame but we don't need these button but let's copy these two let's delete these buttons here also I want this control, but they didn't come. Let's copy them one by one. So I don't need broker, but need this one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing wrong here okay now here and we need also a grid for this one uh, we can copy from here this uh, tab we don't need tab so let's create here first let's create new group group let's create new grid and for data source of this grid let's select our temporary table and fill track and go Hmm. Uh, for employee, now it's not uh, the correct uh, way because we copied from another table, but we didn't create a proper relation for employee. Because of that, it couldn't add the reference uh, field. So let's delete this one and select again. We don't need this one to description. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back to our table and uh, create a relation first. Uh, this relation is uh, in Let's take this one too and normal. And recall. Now it's more correct. Now let's go this one and try again okay now it's a reference field okay it's better place now let's give a caption activity default also i want to add a a customer filter here because of that I want to create new uh, string. And let's choose extend data type. Also, let's uh, select auto declaration. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now 
No, our, our design is almost ready. Uh, first, we need to, uh, of course, create temporary records for our temp table, then related this uh, records to our data source and show in uh, this form. Uh, for that, uh, we need to write a, a method some, somewhere. Uh, it can be in uh, forms, but not suggested. It can be in uh, tables. Uh, it's a good place for writing this kind of code. Uh, but uh, I think the best place is, of course, a, a class. So uh, I will create a class uh, for uh, this one. And this class it takes parameters from uh, our uh, report form and create temporary records. and. Uh, this temporary records uh, re relate uh, for our data source and shows it in form. Uh, so let's start to create a new class for this project. This will be very similar with uh, our uh, previous uh, class. Let's look at this class. It has start date and date worker and farm methods and run method. Uh, so now we can copy from here. Let's copy all the codes and we will delete unnecessary ones. We don't need this one. We need start date and end date, of course. Also, we need plus account. So we don't need this one, but we need this one. So let's change a little bit. Now, uh, I have uh, this, uh, and now I want to filter uh, record and uh, insert our temporary record. So uh, let's look at our uh, code here. First, we don't need this kind of uh, grouping now. Uh, we have start date and end date. Uh, for this, for that, I can uh, look at these. Uh, delete this one. Sorry.
delete this one. Now I selected uh, the related record for uh, this customer. Uh, of course, I need uh, another table here. Uh, this one also for for expenses. So let's select this one. Okay, it's enough uh, for this one too. And if if I if I want more uh, advanced uh, code for this uh, expenses, I need to consider the currencies. Maybe uh, there there will be different currency for uh, this expenses. So I need to change a company currency for this currency. But I don't want to. Uh, go deep for this uh, video because it's time consuming. Okay, now let's start to create our temporary record. Okay. Description, employee, and total expense. Okay. Okay, now we created uh, our temporary record, uh, but we need to return uh, this. Uh, there are also several ways to do that. Uh, for example, we can return uh, from uh, this method, uh, or, we or we can create a par method for uh, this uh, value, and we, we can uh, create a global variable for our temporary record. Let's return uh, run method di directly. Uh, 
Now it's almost ready. We need to call this class uh, from our form and then we will run and uh, control if it's everything okay. Let's go back to our uh, form. Just this one. Now it's best place to this kind of code is uh, in its method. Also, uh, we need a change uh, method because when the filter is changed, we need to reload this uh, form and this code. So let's write it. Uh, let's overwrite in its method and create a new uh, a change method for this record. Let's create. Overwrite in its method. Also, we need a trench method for this one. All source. Okay. Let's create a new method for this one. Also, we need this modified method from this one to nice. Let's change it a little bit. We don't need this one, but we need a change. Sorry. Okay. Now, he needs global uh, variables for this one too, of course. Okay, now it's almost ready. Uh, let's create an uh, object from uh, our uh, class. Um, our class right here. I couldn't see it. copy from here.
Hmm. Okay. We don't create a global cost account, uh, so I I uh, uh, I write a value of our field. Now it's almost ready. We called our uh, class from our form, but we didn't connect our uh, temporary data source to our returned uh, returned value of this temp table. For this, we need to write a pod. Um, we need uh, our data source name for this one. And now our data source name is this. And we need to use SEXTMAP data. And we need to call this from it. But for for this, I forget to add. This will not work in init method. It will work, but the best way to do this uh, called from uh, data source uh, init method. So let's overwrite the data source init and called from that and. Now it's almost ready. Uh, let's uh, run our project and hmm. But first, uh, let's create a menu item for this one because we don't have any menu item. Oops, let's create a menu item. The form, of course. Yes. Now let's add this to our menu. We'll get to add a label here. Okay. Now let's build our project and uh, run and see if it works. Okay. When I open it, I uh, realize that it's not a practical to use modify because when I select uh, November, it's uh, trying to reload this data. So I will change it. Uh, I will create a button uh, for this one, uh, this form and uh, I will call from this button. So let's go back to project and change a little bit. First of all, let's open our form. So I want to create a new button here. Means calculate button. And I want to overwrite the click method and Okay, and also I want to change this filters modify method. Which I don't want to call a change from here. Also, this. Okay. 
Now let's try this way. Now uh, you can see it's working. When I uh, uh, when I select September 2012 and uh, the customer it's filtered the related record and correct. Let's look at our activities. Now it is yes this one. Okay, we have three activities for Shilka Retail and it's now correctly filtered. Now let's go back to our reports and select September. Now, it's okay. Uh, we don't uh, enter any expense for this record, but I, I think it will work uh, fine. Now, uh, I want to add, add totals for this uh, report. Uh, for uh, It's similar to our activity form. I want to add at a total uh, invoice uh, uh, amount and expense amount, etc. Uh, but it's enough for this video. I will uh, I will add this functionality to next video. I hope it helps. Happy duck sync.